All right. This is my In the Bag with Zane, sponsored by Monster Dragon Tea. Mmm, good. Get yours today. So I've got um, the pound octothorpe, the sextothorpe even, um, with our buddy Nate. Nate is right here. We all like the Nate. And we're going to start with putters. Um, let's take putting putters first. Um, I think I'm going to just set the bag down when I do this. That should be easier. So I carry two of my putting putters. They're um, judges. It's classic hard, but these are um, pre pre burst. So like you can see the kind of fake bursts going on in there. Um, they hadn't. They're just messing with it. So they're nice and hard, mm, and they feel good. They're not rubbery like the new stuff. Not really chalky either. They're just, they're good. They fly straight. They're really, really beat up, as you can see. Um, but they, they still have a nice finish. Putting, long up shots. I don't care. Just throw them. They fly where I want. So, um, putting putters. Yeah, we've got another judge in the bag. Moonshine blend. It's really nice. This is mainly my upshot putter. Um, it's got a little bit more stability than those putting ones, quite a bit more actually, and feels really good. If you've ever felt this moonshine blend stuff, it's nice. And I like to throw this one quite a bit. It flies really, really, really good. So uh, I've got another judge in the bag. It's the Chameleon Lucid Opto. Shitter X, um, it's pretty pretty cool. This is more of a throwing one. Um, I throw this tee shots like 200, 250 feet when I don't want to throw like a proxy or envy because I don't like to power down on those really. So this is nice because it'll it'll kind of stand up from a hyzer and maybe drift a little bit, but it can hold a hyzer too if I throw it really nicely. It's a little bit sensitive, um, just like me. But if you treat it right, it'll do exactly what you want it to. So that's judges. Um, we got a couple zones in the bag. First is my uh, jawbreaker. It's nice and beat up. Got a good warp to it. You can kind of see um, this one. If I throw it hard, it can even it'll do some turning. Um, get some nice flexes out of it. It'll hold a hyzer too. Um, I like to forehand it nice and easy. It'll go straight. It's a good zone. Um, I've got a new jawbreaker zone in the bag. Uh, it's kind of in a side pocket right now. It's not one of my main discs, but I'm just kind of... There's a few shots where like my other jawbreaker will be way too flippy, and then this zone will be too overstable. So I throw this, and I'm just kind of cycling it in. Um, slowly but surely. So jawbreaker zones are dope. Um, then I've got this 20, 2018 TI, no not TI, um, Elite Z color shift zone. Nice and pretty. Love the vinyl top. Good grip. Um, this guy's pretty overstable. It's a little beat in now but it's still pretty overstable. Um, I'll throw this backhand off the tee. I really like it because I can throw it like hard and flat like literally as hard as I want. I mean, it won't really go over like 250 or 280. So it's always nice just to know you can throw it and it's not going to go further than you want. So great zone, great disc. Uh, other putters in the bag, obviously. Um, staple, Neutron Soft, Envy. It's got to be blank, ideally. Um, I throw this like 400 feet. Um, <laughs> cut that. Uh, I throw this, you know, for pretty much only tee shots. I never really throw up shots with the Envy. I don't like to power down on it. I know some people do and they don't mind, but I I just like to only full power this. Um, anything from like 280 foot hyzers to like 330 foot just straight shots. 
really love it for like that type of distance, especially downhill when you got a tailwind, you just get it up nice and flat, a little bit of hyzer, and um, it'll just it'll just hold, 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 and just be moving just forward and left and just so reliable. Probably my favorite disc in the bag. I'm most comfortable when this is in my hand. Um, yeah, I just love to crush it, and you know it makes the ladies and boys just kind of drip when they see me see me toss this one. So. It's really nice to have um, for sex appeal. Uh, last putter in the bag is my old Plasma Proxy. Um, stamp's pretty worn, as you can see. Um, I love these old proxies. They're nice and flat compared to the new ones, have a little bit of a shoulder. Um, this one just feels amazing in my hand. I don't know, just it's the perfect one. Um, dead straight, doesn't turn. Um, so don't believe someone if they tell you a proxy's turning. Uh, it will drift a little bit if I throw it hard and flat. It'll just kind of drift right, but it's never turning, never, never turning over. Um, always finishing flat. Uh, can hold a hyzer too. Really nice low glide. Love it for tee shots. I'll throw it for like longer up shots on, um, on like par fours and stuff as well. Um, also feel really, really comfortable with this disc. Just love to throw it. Got a cool ace with it. Got some signatures here. A 250 foot, maybe yeah, 250 maybe. Uh, Kind of like little anning over over some cement formation under some trees, right in the heart of the chains. Super cool ace. Love this disc. Um, actually, just got a backup. So thank you, Kyle, for that because he actually found the exact same colors um, of these older proxies and got me one. So super happy about that. And proxy, good disc. Let's move on to mid ranges. I don't bag that many mid ranges. Um, starting with understable, got this old clown car comet. Uh, I don't know when this is from, but I know it's old because if you see the, can't really see the stamp. Can you there? It's one of these older stamps. Um, got it from a used bin. Super flippy. It's pretty much too flippy now. Uh, some of the shots I used to throw it for, where it used to kind of like just continue to turn, but slowly, it's kind of turning a little quicker now. So I had to be really careful with it, but. For tailwinds, uphill shots, things where I just don't want, it won't fade. It like literally does not fade. So it's really nice um, for that kind of shot when I just need it to keep moving right and have a lot of glide. It glides for it glides for days. So love that. Next mid is Z Buzz. This is a newer one to the bag. Nice and flat. Um, I love the feel when these buzzes are just little grippy and flat and can't really have any dome to them or I won't throw them. Um, this one started off good, but it's kind of, it's kind of not as stable as I wanted. I had this other Z buzz I got that was lighter weight, but really, really stable, but I lost it. Don't really remember how, but I did. Um, this one's nice. I've kind of been throwing it sometimes when I want my comet, but I want a little bit more stability because this one does have a little bit of turn to it. Um, so I am in the market for a flat Z buzz that does not turn. That would be sick. But um, this is still pretty good. I love the blue. It's beautiful. Last mid in the bag is a uh, C-Line MD4. Got a couple of these. Um, this one's pretty beat up, but it's still really overstable. Nice and straight with a reliable finish. Can hold into a headwind. Love to forehand it. It's got a nice feel for that. Um, mostly just throw it backhand though, but definitely, definitely forehanded it more after I played a forehand only round at a pitch and putt and realized how much I like to forehand this thing. So huge staple in my bag, love to crush this, can throw it as hard as I want, flat, and it's going to hold straight. It will not turn. So, um, really reliable, love the MD4, love the feel, the C line really good too, a little bit gummy. So that's great. Um, let's move on to fairway drivers first. Uh, Heat came on, it's gonna be loud bullshit. Um, I've got this 156 gram bubble gum, pretty in pink D line FD, um, super bad boy disc. Ladies love it, fellas envy it. Um, if I throw it on a hyzer like this, it's gonna roll. There's a couple of wooded shots. Um, where I'll throw it, or like I use it for scrambling, where you can you can forehand it like like this, and it'll turn all the way over and then roll. So that's really cool um, when you want to get like when you want to you know finish left on your roll, but like you need to get it 
first. You can throw it out wide on a hyzer and it'll flip and then roll and it's really, really useful. Um, love this. Kind of hard to find these, so also in the market for more of these because super cool, super great utility disc. Love it. Uh, other fairways. Let's see what I can grab here. My discs are not set by their classes. It's like by color, so I just have to kind of find them. Um, newest disc in my bag. Absolutely love it. Amazing disc. Uh, C-Line FD2. Beautiful gummy plastic. Thanks to Fluke for grabbing me this one from the Sunflower Bike Shop. Um, low Glide. This one's really overstable. I haven't thrown another FD2 yet, even though I got like three more of these online that I haven't thrown. So I'm not sure if this is like remarkably overstable or what, but it is very overstable. Um, forehand, it's awesome. It's nice and flat, has a great small rim to forehand. Backhand, hyzers, flat shots, headwinds, whatever, you name it, it's reliable. It's going straight, it's coming back. Um, sometimes it's been perfect for me. Sometimes it's been more overstable than I expected and has not gone as far as I hoped. Um, so maybe that's just part of me not knowing the disc fully yet or just getting maybe a couple of bad tosses on it, I don't know. Um, I do love it. I will be throwing these for the foreseeable future. Um, great addition to my fairway lineup. And I know I was supposed to go understable to overstable, or at least I was trying, but I didn't. Um, so next we'll just grab another overstable one. Uh, I got this Kevin Jones 500 F1. Super nice, milky cream, uh, silver kind of mixture thing going on here. Um, this is also really overstable, um, kind of similarly to the FD2 there, but it's way more overstable. Uh, so kind of my biggest headwind fighter forehand when I just need it to just crush through the wind and finish. Um, you know, we've got these Kansas winds out here, so having something heavily overstable that I can rely on is really nice to have. Uh, don't throw this one as much just because it's like really, really overstable, but... Um, it is nice, and I think it'll beat in nicely and be a good overstable complement to the FD2. So, Kevin, baby. I uh, got some understable fairways in the bag, too, or at least one. Um, find it. So, it's right here. Got this um, Zach Melton Lucid X Maverick. It's one of the older ones before they changed it to say Melvrick on it, which I think is fucking cringe. So, um, got two of these. I mean, one's in the bag, but I have two. Uh, this thing's pretty flippy. I like it. I can throw it on a hyzer about this steep, and it'll flip up to flat, drift a little bit to the right, and then uh, start to make its way back at the end of the flight. So really good for lacing wood shots. Um, could throw sky annies with it, too, and it'll work pretty well. Nice glide. Insane glide, really. It glides for days. So um, good uphill shots where you want it to keep turning and moving forward. Really nice for that. Don't have too much more to say about it, but it's gotten its use. I like it a lot. So let's move on to control drivers. Um, first and foremost, the Halo Sidewinder. Um, gummy, taffy, candy sunburst, red going on here. It's really beautiful. Um, it's, it's really straight. Got a nice finish shoot at the end. If I throw it hard and flat, it'll even drift right for a while, but always finish up. Um, super dependable flex shots, curves, hyzer flips, whatever you name it. Um, even with a tailwind, I can hyzer it and it'll kind of hold the hyzer, come up to flat and install and then come back. So if you need to get pretty far left, but keep it in the air for a while, this is a great disc for that. Um, forehanded a couple times too. If I get a smooth hyzer, it'll kind of flip up and move. And, um, it's a really great woods disc, really great control shot. Um, love the sidewinder, at least in the halo. I haven't really thrown like a regular sidewinder for a while, but Got two of these as well, so excited to keep throwing these for a while. Um, okay, uh, more control drivers. We've got we've got two 2017 Sexy Birds. Start with this one. Um, been in the bag for over three years now. I got this one when these first came out. This thing is super beat up. Um, you can see that. Uh, it's just amazing. This is probably like my second or third favorite disc in the bag. Um, backhand, if I throw it hard, it, it's so beat up that it'll even like kind of drift right for a while, which is odd for a Firebird, but it does. Um, but it'll always finish because it is a Firebird. So it's really nice for like 
uh, like tight wooded shots where I need to get hard left, but I need to hold straight for about 300, 330 feet or so. Um, you can really trust it to just go straight for a while and always finish. Love to forehand it too. Can throw it flat, can throw it on hyzers. It'll do just about anything. So something magical about overstable discs that have been in the bag for so long. They really, they really fly just how you know, and nothing else really flies quite like it. So love this disc a lot. Um, here's a newer, newer Sexy Bird 17. Uh, I think Tim, this is the one that Tim got me. Um, maybe not. I don't know if I'm bagging that one yet. Uh, no, it's not. His is even prettier than this. So, um, but this is the more overstable one. Uh, not quite as beefy. It's not as beefy as like that F1, for example. Um, so I'll throw it when I want just like a regular, really overstable shot. Uh, or like a forehand that I that I want to mash into and not worry about it turning or anything. Um, you guys know what Firebirds do. 17s are the best sexy bird. Don't at me about that. I won't talk about it. So um, move on to distance drivers. I think that's all we have left. Let's see. Should have like laid these out first, you know. Um, but that's okay. Oh, I have one more control driver. I'm sorry. I forgot about this. Um, I have one lucid getaway in the bag. Uh, I throw it sometimes, not as often anymore. This is a good lucid getaway. It's mostly flat, but I mean, it does have a dome because they do glide. Um, but it's flatter than other lucids uh, that I've had. So I throw this when there's not much wind. You just want to throw something flat that's going to fly flat for a while, but it'll still finish. Um, can forehand it pretty well as well. It's just kind of one of those discs where it's like, Certain shots, certain conditions, I'll take it out. I don't really have something else like it in the bag. Um, so it does serve its purpose. It's got a cool little wolf stamp on it. Um, really pretty disc, so I, I like this one. It does does pretty well. Now we're on distance drivers. I'm not editing this video at all because I can't be fucking worse. So um, let's get on to the distance drivers. Um, currently bagging five wraiths, so we'll go from understable to overstable. We've got a PFN Star Wraith that uh, Rob Doe Myalysis gave me. And this one is very beat up and flippy. You can see a lot of the wear on the inner rim here. Um, this is roller potential. Uh, I throw it for Sky Annie's a lot. I throw it if I want a hyzer flip that's gonna maybe finish right. It has a little bit of finish to it, but um, if I throw it hard and on a, on a good hyzer, it'll, it'll flip up and move right and not really finish, so. Great woods disc, um, great sky any. I don't throw many rollers, but it can be a roller. And we all know that if you can roll a wraith, you can roll it like 550 feet. So hypothetically, I can roll like 600 feet. You just don't know it yet. Um, next wraith is this old champ cranberry deck the halls with gold type of beat. And it's a nice flat champ wraith not totally flat but good flat um it's only 167 this was my this was my go-to wraith for quite a while not so much now but i will throw it when i want basically a similar flight from that pfn wraith except i want it to have more finish um i can throw it flat and it'll move right for most of the flight but not like turn over so really good woods wraith um don't really throw it in the open that much um just because it's not this like it's not the most sorry the ups guy just came to my door so i got a little distracted um it is just a nice it's lightweight too so it's easy to get a good rip on um just flies really straight it's just really straight with some turn well actually a fair bit of turn but it's 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 a wraith next wraith would have to probably be this newer PFN Wraith, um, I got this one from Trevor, traded him like two destroyers and a Pharaoh or something for it. Um, really good deal, no trade backs, obviously. Um, this Wraith is like my go-to bomber Wraith. It is like the perfect stability, 172 grams. Can throw it on a little hyzer, it'll flip up, just like barely drift right, always finish. Um, love to forehand it as well. It's just a really, really dependable, really far flying wraith. Throw this in the open, in the woods, anywhere from 400 to 430 feet. Um, just goes 
it just goes fucking far and really straight and I can really trust this one. Feel really good when this one's in my hands. No, I'm gonna throw a good shot. Next Wraith is Halo Wraith. I think I got like five of these now. This is the one that's been in the bag for a little bit. I lost my expensive gem of a one a uh, month or so ago. So this one's been in the bag for maybe two months. Um, was pretty over disabled to start, but I can actually get some turn out of it now. Um, but if I throw it on a hyzer, it's most likely going to stay on a hyzer. Uh, if I throw it flat, it'll do a little bit of turning, but start to finish a little quicker. Um, love this Wraith, can throw it in a headwind pretty well, and it's going to gonna hold up, unless if it's like a ripping headwind. But yeah, great Wraith, super beautiful, kind of matches my Sidewinder, so that's cool. Um, Halo Plastic feels amazing, 10 out of 10, would recommend. And uh, yeah, that's, that's another Wraith. Last Wraith in the bag is this um, Astero from Florida, this league that I play like once a year when I go visit. Um, Color Glow. It's like board flat, as you can see. Um, it really doesn't even feel like a Wraith sometimes. Like the rim is a little different. I know it, I mean, it's it's embossed Wraith. Like it, it is a Wraith, but it started off really, really overstable, like a long Firebird. Um, it's actually kind of beat in now. Fairly equal with that Halo one, so I probably don't need both in the bag at this time, but I do prefer to forehand this one sometimes as it's really nice and flat. It just feels great to forehand. Um, I know it'll go straight and not really flip over at all on me. It's still pretty beefy. So a um, little lower glide, a little more control. I really like this Wraith. I don't throw it as often, but it does serve its purpose, and I, I make use of it when the time comes. And then we've got... One of my favorite distance drivers in the bag, um, 400G, D1, um, slight dome to it. If you can get a D1 like this, these ones are absolutely money. Um, not all D1s are really that overstable, so some people haven't liked the ones they've tried. Um, this, this D1 is excellent. It flies really far. It can hold up to like almost any headwind and just like still go straight. I mean, if it's like 20, 30 miles an hour, it'll start to turn a little bit, but it doesn't usually like turn over. So it's kind of that perfect stability of being able to hold up to wind and be really overstable, but like still fly and still glide. So I can still get, you know, over 400 with this thing, even considering like how overstable it is. It's just got that perfect blend of like glide and stability. Absolutely love this D1. Um, need a lot more like this so if you have any d1s that match the description uh hit my line so that's that um yeah great great d1 and then last disc in the bag is this uh prodigy like x out they say it's a d1 um beautiful plastic this is like some of the best prodigy plastic that exists i don't really know i mean i think it's supposed to be like 400g but it, it's not really the same as any other plastic. I've seen a few others like this, but they're all the same color and all the same feel. So it must have just been some like weird run they were doing. Um, got this from a used bin. It's really, really overstable. Like I think it's one of those like fake X ones as they say. So this is just what I throw when it's so windy and I just don't want anything to turn over. Just no squirrely, no funny business. Just, just go. It's not gonna go that far. It really doesn't go that far. I probably can't get it over like 370. Um, but it does fly awesome and it feels amazing. So hoping to keep this one in the bag for a long time. If I can somehow get it really beat in to where it like gets a little bit of movement to it, then it'd be one of those just super trustworthy bombers. So absolutely love this disc. Just love the feel. I just, just I cut that out. Um, that's, that's the discs in the bag. So let's go through some of the other stuff I have in the bag. Oh, it's so much lighter now. Um, all right, so I've got my mini. It's a waffles with butters and syrups. Um, Ryan got this one for me. I did get it signed by AJ Risley, but it's um, it's really worn off. So I uh, really like this mini. It gets lost in the leaves sometimes, but I haven't lost it yet. So it's really cool. People always compliment me on this. It's one of the more unique minis I've seen. Um, love the weight of it, nice and heavy. And I always feel good about marking my lie with this one. So that's my mini. Um, left pocket here, blue Sharpie, mark your discs. It's always good. Got a nice waffle type towel here. It needs to be washed. You know, I might as well just throw that in the 
dirties right now. Um, it's a really great towel, really absorbent. We've got one of the Floop moon bags here. It matches my bag, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't use these that much, but I try to sometimes. Usually I just grab dirt off the ground or I don't really have sweaty pedo hands. So I don't know, I don't need it that often. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, got a more like microfiber towel here for just like water rather than dirt. It's always nice to have. You've got a uh, end of a knee marker here, which I always forget to use. Um, but yeah, for your knee, um, I've got a first aid kit. There's some band-aids, tweezers, um, first aid and burn cream. Should be closed up, it's getting dirty in there. But yeah, first aid, it's always nice. Um, backup mini, it's a take your medicine. Uh, it's pretty worn off though, but I do have another one right here actually. So take your medicine, helps you hurt less. It's true. Um, this towel needs a wash too, Jesus Christ. There's just a gross towel in here, so get rid of that. Um, that's it for down there. And then um, over here we got $10. Chapstick. That's it on this side. This side we've got um, deodorizing body wipes. More for the summer, like if you're gonna play like two rounds or get some food after your round, you just wipe down your body and your butthole with this and um, you're feeling fresh and good. It smells really good, feels kind of tingly, relaxing. If you put them in your cooler with ice, it's really refreshing. So um, they're huge and they're thick, they're awesome. I got a bunch of these, but I keep two in the bag. It's always nice if you're not, if you're going somewhere after your round and you can't shower and you just want to freshen up. So these are great. Um, and then I got a bunch of these um, IVX, IVX wipes, they're supposed to wipe off the oils if you think you came in contact with it. You obviously still want to shower and wash off if you came into contact with poison ivy, but um, I think these have helped me out quite a bit so far um, to not break out like as quick so you can wipe stuff off and then not be stressing about having to get to a shower right away. So I love those. Um, really, really awesome. Got both of these types of wipes on Amazon. Stay fresh and clean, baby. Uh, lastly, Um, not much down there. I think there's some stuff over here. Oh, I have someone's disc that I found that I need to probably return. Johnny Seed Harrison. It's a, um, I think it was like a Raider or no, not a Raider, but um, a van it's a Vandal with some glow tape on it. This guy actually abandoned like six discs, like one per hole uh, on the course. And we tried to pick him up, but I, I don't know if he like rage quit and was just distributing his seed as he says, but uh yeah um cashew cranberry almond trail mix little snacks these are pretty good it's almost gone but um and then i've got the cord to my bluetooth speaker which isn't in the bag so uh, yeah that's my bag and um, it holds my discs and some other stuff and i wear it on my back and that's where I get my discs from when I play. So um, this video is, oh my God, it's so fucking long. <laughs> Let's watch all this, bye.